It's all conspiracies. So the patents that they have, they're a conspiracy. The patents that you can look up, they're a conspiracy. Just because it's a patent doesn't mean it's a real technology. I've seen I've seen patents on the walls of NASA saying rocket propel boots. Hey, welcome back, Patriots. All right, this one is, uh, all right, this one's a battle here. This guy's an aerospace engineer, works with NASA. Now, as I've mentioned before, and you've seen before, if you've watched my videos, when you run into people that are in the inside like this, they're either compartmentalized to the point where they're ignorant of a lot of things that go on around them, or they suspect that there are things that are going on around them, or they know there are things going on around them, and they, uh, are restricted from talking about it or will from time to time be candid enough with me to say some things that they probably shouldn't. This guy falls into the first category. Now, we have a NASA base close by, so I get to from time to time to speak to people from there. Uh, there's probably no greater federal agency that's more secretive, more compartmentalized, and they certainly have the largest black budget. Oh, this millennial is caught up and he's compartmentalized to the point where he um, just doesn't believe in the chemtrail phenomenon. I don't know how you can de deny it. Myself, I've talked to enough pilots and people who work inside of NASA to, uh, to, to I mean, this, to know that it, it, it exists. I mean, you'd have to be out of your mind to think that the government wouldn't be trying to manipulate the weather. The power that that has is phenomenal. So, I mean, of course they would try. And to a great extent, they have succeeded. They've all succeeded in messing things up. There's no way this guy can refute the evidence I brought up. He could try, but, you know, it ain't, it ain't working. Oh, man, right, if you like this, you like it. If you uh, care, you share and all that. Uh, you can get my Ken Charles shirt, which uh, you will see here uh, at my store at threadless.com. And if you, uh, and please, if you are on the fence about Ken Charles, go do your own research uh, and, you know, listen to your own mind. So if you, again, like it, like it, care, share, if you haven't subscribed, do. If you have subscribed, subscribe again. <sighs> Let's get the truth out there. Help me do that. If you can't do anything else, pray for me. I'll see you in the flip end. Oh, okay. Air guard. Air guard? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So have you gotten any big arguing with you today? <laughs> no? I was just curious. Somebody came up. No, I've been doing this a while, long enough to find this out. Collectively, they're dumber than a train load of hammers and they're cowards. Unless they were in a crowd, you know, you get them at a oh, protest true, or true. something like that. And, and they can use the yeah. broad spectrum words, you're a racist, yeah, you're yeah, in without yeah. yeah. And they feel, they feel bold and, you know, yeah, because they get that, responses. you know, that, that backup. But when you catch them one on one, they're, they're dumber than a brick. It's funny they want peace, but they call them us riots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Antifa, well, look, you could see my, you know, can you pass the Democrat hypocrisy test? So, I mean, I, there's a gazillion things you can bring up that are, you know, hypocritical about their stance. Right. So if they ever do come up and say, oh, I'll take it, I say, great. You know, I start. <laughs> so, 
with stuff that they can't answer. The transgenders taking over women's sports. Okay, how is that fair to women? Right. The champion women, how is that fair to women? Right. Oh, yeah. The champions Sharia law in Muslims, but they treat, they're the most patriarchal of all, you know, societies. How is that fair to women? Right. Socialism lecturing us on economics? Hello? We had the uh, gay club, Martina Nabratilova, out of it because she thought it was wrong for transgenders to be in curl sports, so they booted her ass out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wow, it's crazy. Everything they do is insane. That's what I say. I mean, as I said, I'm running into the liberals who can't understand what the hell they're at and where they're going. You know? Global warming. Jesus. Come on. Well, naturally, it's supposed to happen. Well, probably the house. Well, well, well that's it. I mean, you know, but making CO2 the enemy is like, but it's, it's an element of life. I mean, so the trees light. Yes. The more CO2, the better, because then we, you know, bigger, better, faster growing plants. <laughs> Jeez, pot, pot growers we'll see pumping we, into the damn farms, you know. So. We'll see if we get rid of the Democrats, the trees won't grow as fast. They're going <laughs> to mouth a whole lot. I'm telling you, they just don't. They just nuts. Well, it's not global warming more now, it's climate change. Well, yeah, no, climate change. <laughs> that way, if you believe that, yeah, yeah, like, down, yeah uh, like, you know, like the climate doesn't keep changing all the time. Yeah. What the hell's that mean? Uh, I, guess, I guess my perspective is is I'm, I'm on the fence about it and my perspective is as a evangelical christian we're given this earth to protect and defend it and therefore make makes common sense okay well let's make sure we're not doing something if we are doing something let's make sure we're not yeah, doing but that's something. not it i'll give you the beer because it's a beer well all you have to do is look do this get on your computer right now Look up the history of weather and climate modification. You will see government and private programs going sure. back to 1891. Yeah, where, where the government. Tried a lot of would, they yeah. tell me the military hasn't tried to control the weather. Well, yeah, but when the, the, the yeah, 1995 well, leaked document by the Air Force. But, but let weather, me ask you this: yes. We all live on the same planet, mm -hmm. and. Unfortunately, the Democrats have nailed down this whole vibe. My generation, the millennials, are very eco-minded. And my perspective is, if we are conservatives, wouldn't it be a very good catchphrase to say, hey, let's conserve the earth? I right. helped start the Institute for Environmental Alternatives with Professor Ron Cohn in 1971. I lived with scientists for three and a half years studying this. I have forgotten more about it than most people. Sure, but back in the 70s, we didn't have the research. No, we, we, no, we, we, we called it e ecology back then. That's when it first started out, right? It was ecology, but it was still all about resources and how no, it's I listen to a lecture back in the 1990s. But I'm telling you right now, if you, it's a beard. We have been controlling the weather for seven decades. <laughs> With what? Again, the, the leaked document by the Air Force, control, uh, weather is a force multiplier, controlling the weather by 2025. Look it up. Oh, in 1964, okay. President Kennedy stood before the uh, General Assembly, UN General Assembly, and said these words. This is a quote. We will use today's technology to control the weather. In 1954, President Eisenhower started the Department of Weather and Climate Modification. So, so where ben, is this Livingston, ben Livingston took that and became known as the father of weather weapons, which we used in Vietnam from 68 to 72. Where are when that was that? leaked out, when that was leaked out, the UN passed, and I say you look all this up. The UN passed the UN Weather Weapons Treaty Ban, banning the use of weather weapons. We don't often ban things we don't have. So <laughs> these things exist. The fact that we have them, the fact that they're bringing up global warming, is that we're the cause, is to blame us for what's happening, what they do. So they are actually, when you see the chemtrails, which are real. Oh, okay. 
Oh, really? Uh, okay, well, in that case, it was... Uh, it's called they, contrails. It's a natural phenomenon. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Oh, really? Then, then tell me why um, the, the uh, congressman, uh, Dennis Kucinich, uh, presented a bill to stop the funding for chemtrails because they're spending billions of dollars on it. If he, why would he stop? Theory. There, it's conspiracy it's, theory? Yes. Then, then how come the pilots I've speak, spoken to... Contrails are a natural phenomenon with water, not contrails. condensation. There's barium, beridium, strontium, HARP. H-A-R-P. Okay. Who is familiar doing with HARP? chemtrails? Are you familiar then? with HARP? Who is doing chemtrails then? I, I know what HARP is. It's high altitude radio antenna in the north which we bounced the radio waves no, off of the detect, chemicals they were spraying in the sky. Because that's what they first weapons. said it was. Oh, it's well. to detect nuclear weapons. I've done a lot of research on HARP. I know all about that. It's another conspiracy theorist. Well, I, yeah. again, I, HARP I, is an antenna in the northern hemisphere that they used to detect back in the 50s and 60s to detect nuclear weapons. Lieutenant, they stopped using it because I then we got satellites. Is, so that's why we have satellites to detect the, nuclear weapons. Lieutenant, uh, there's a lieutenant. I think her name's from off. I'm not mistaken here. Uh, so let's talk about contrails while we're at I it. Don't talk about the contrails. Contrails. Yeah. All right. What distributes chemtrails? Then what plane? Maybe one plane that does that. Well, it's both commercial and military. Which ones? It, well, that's it. Which, Which ones? ones? Because yeah. they don't, I mean, these are hidden. Programs. How many planes have you been in? This have you flown Again, before? A lot. No, have you flown before? Yes. Okay, then what planes have the tanks to do that? Tell oh, me which they ones. can they can mix this stuff in with commercial jets. They can make it. <laughs> Seriously, you really yes. think the commercial I, yes. is in on it? Yes. And what is the chemicals doing? Well, barium, bronchium, uh, 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 beridium. Have already, they've been shown to be sprayed in, in the areas that they're spraying to saturate the, uh, the ground. We have now aluminum saturated soils and of course... To do what? To do what? What is it doing? Well, again, with Monsanto, of course, of all companies. Oh, so Monsanto's funding, not the federal government. Oh, wow. Oh, they're in on it, too. Oh, okay, so Monsanto's in on the federal again, government? If, if you would just look up the history no, of I weather it's, it's, and, and, yes, and climate it's all modification. Theories. It's all conspiracies. So the patents that they have, they're a conspiracy. The patents that you can look up, they're a conspiracy. Just because it's a patent doesn't mean it's a real technology. I've seen, I've seen patents on the walls of NASA saying rocket propelled boots. Okay. There's patents for that that okay. don't work, by the way. All right. It's it's mechanically difficult and impractical to make a rock-propelled shoe, by the way. Okay. It's just like a rock-propelled jet so when how long do when, they the last? When, when Ben Livingston, the father of weather weapons, got on uh, Pimple Wars and said just after Katrina. Yeah. And said, if you had given me four airplanes, I could have knocked Katrina out. He they was have lying. tried... They have tried that. There is some stuff. When, when, but when, I when, doubt when that. China publicly came out and said we can make it rain over an area six times the size of Nebraska. Making it rain is different. When than they made it the snow weather. for the Olympics, and so much so that they had to uh, shut down the city. That was a conspiracy theory. I don't know. That was in the about. news. They bragged about it. What, China being able to get snow? China, look it yeah, up. China makes snow it out. snow for Olympics, shuts down city. Look it up. Okay. But well, I don't know about that. I've never heard about that because... Uh, they bragged about it. Well, sorry, I didn't hear about it. I don't know about it. I know they make snow all the time on ski mountains. That's a natural thing. Yeah, but that's a whole nother thing. This yeah. is like get from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> it's called contrails, not chemtrails. Yeah. There's no physical way you can have that much chemical to do anything. It diffuses in the atmosphere. Look up anthrax, VX, all those. Guess what happens when they're hit by UV? Disintegrate in two hours. Do you really think chemicals can actually do anything? If they fall 50,000 feet from the sky to us? No. I think they have been manipulating with our absolute. How much is a half? They're 15. So, anyways, I still am a conservative, but I'm conservative in the sense that we need to conserve the earth too, so I will highly disagree with you on the old global. There it. Well, we can just agree to disagree. Agree on that, but we can yeah. agree on everything else. 
So what'd you think? You think I cracked even a little bit of that guy's shell? I don't think so. Uh, he's gonna believe what he believes. But again, there's just too much evidence out there. So if you like it, like it, care, you share, and subscribe, and pray for me. Thank you very much.